knees. Nick here again. So I wanted to show you Cobra Pose. So we've done Baby Cobra. We haven't done Fuller Cobra. So this pose can be a bit challenging if you don't have a lot of range of movement in your lower back. So I'm going to encourage you to please soften the elbows and walk the arms out as much as you feel like you need to in order to make this doable for your body. And so we want an effort towards getting the arms almost straight. You can keep a slight bend in the elbows, but we don't want to be elbows close to the floor here. So you want to try to get the elbows straight, and I'll show you what I mean when we get into it. But you can always walk your hands further forward. That's what you need to do for your shoulders to open or for the lower back. So let's get started. I'm going to turn to lying on my belly. And I'm going to bring my feet right beside each other. So you want to make sure that your feet are acting as if they're one foot. So they're right beside each other. And you're pushing the tops of your feet down into the floor. When you push your feet down into the floor, you're going to feel your thighs start to work and your kneecaps lift up. So it's a strong rooting down. This is so that we don't just use our butt here. We want to use the strength of our legs as well. So rooting down through the legs and the tops of the feet. And then bringing the hands just a little bit ahead of your shoulders. And slowly pushing yourself up. For some of you, you might get right here and this might be enough. You can even walk your hands forward more. So if, there, if you have a limited range in your lower back, then take this option. Eventually, we can bring the arms straight. So some of you will be able to roll the elbows under and almost completely straighten the arms. But again, you want to really make sure that you're not feeling any pain in the lower back here. Taking a few breaths here, four to six breaths. And then just lowering yourself down and resting your forehead on your hands. And so it's really important when we do Cobra, I'm going to show you one more time, that we don't want to just think about the lower back. So bringing the hands underneath, coming up, roll your shoulders back, elbows under, pull your heart forward. So it's about the heart coming forward, that's what's important in this pose, not, you know, collapsing in your low back. And then bringing yourself down again to rest. So a shot of Cobra Pose from the front. So bringing your hands either right under your shoulders or a little bit ahead of your shoulders. And everyone's going to be a little different depending on how your shoulder joints are built. And you're going to use the arms here, keeping the legs active and the feet pushing in, just like we did on the other angle, but using the arms to help to lift you. Roll your elbows under you. Some people will keep the elbows softly bent here. Some of us will go ahead and straighten the arms almost straight here. And depending on how you're feeling in your back, shoulders drop down, heart opens. And to come down, Resting. You can just rest your forehead on your hands. Taking a couple of deep breaths there. So Cobra Pose or Bhujangasana. Hopefully you found that pose helpful. If you like that video, take a moment, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, to just click the thumbs up underneath. If you're watching this on YouTube, Leave me a comment and let me know if there's any videos that you would like to see coming up in the future, any poses you want to work on or areas of the body. And if you're watching this on Facebook, you can just click the Discussions tab and leave your requests there. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that yellow subscription button so that you don't miss these poses as they come out. Thank you. Namaste.